covered! Why didn't we scrub them all out? Gotcha now! He's on me! Sam, they really went to work on you, buddy. Christ. Uh, come on, you'll be all right. You're tough as nails. Oh, shit. Oh, he's got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard. He's okay. Inside. Let's go get the money! You're in my sight. That was when I saw the cost. What it meant to be on the inside. Huh. I should have took off there and then. But I couldn't go back to being a nobody. So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabby to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner, what are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy, he scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy.
The way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You drive with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Dom, Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. Do you know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. It's, Grills a little bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin I got... On your tail, pal. You got an informant right there says Marilla made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Morello left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. I don't square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Or maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Celieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh, have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We were running booze, offering protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. <laughs> I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, <laughs> Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload, but not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find him. Morello's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Sarah, can I get a drink here? As soon as you're ready. Sure thing. Your pop letting you out for the race? You kidding? Feels like we're packing this place up and moving it to the stands. So that's a five, a six. Hey, hey, buona sera, Tommy. Hmm. So that's a five, a six. 
Hey, Titi Tommy, big day coming up, right? right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Silly area isn't going to let Morello break it.